It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. This is a nice mixed grass. That way, Jason laid down. Today's Thursday. He laid this down Tuesday afternoon, evening. And of course, we will uh, little square this up. I don't know if he's going to set so much up now. And then we'll go home and get the baler and some lunch. Or if he will leave me to rake. Or what his plan is here. Actually, no, we have to both go because we need a truck over here just in case. So there's hay down this gravel all the way over there and then that tree line I think is what his goal is today to get up and then behind the landlord's house and on the other side. So. so we did get this rake in January. It is a high capacity Kuhn's speed rake. 600. It has definitely made the windrows so much nicer. The hay quality just, it, it's awesome. It's a really good rake. It was definitely a good buy for us. It does have the kickers, but we hardly ever put those down right now. We just don't need to. And you can see the windrows are, pr I mean, <laughs> they're pretty wide. <laughs> I can't straddle them. And we'll come in with the Massey 1840 square baler and the Kuhn's accumulator. And uh, get it all squared up. I hope you guys are ready for some more hay baling video today because uh, guess what? There's going to be a lot of it out here. Welcome back. We uh, got a clean slate today. Fresh count, besides the couple I just bailed. Happy Friday and welcome back. We are headed to the field. Jason's already over there. He's done started raking and uh, I am going to uh, start baling as soon as possible. We got to service the baler, grease it, re get it ready. Hopefully I have enough twine and uh, we're going to get the day rolling. Actually, uh, the farmer that we're going to do straw with called last night and said, hey, we're going to start combining this morning and cutting wheat. Y'all ready to start some straw? I'm like, ah, I still have to get 1400 bales up of grass so very very busy today i'm gonna push 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 jason may actually take big square baler over to the wheat field and i may stay in the grass field and it's gonna be a long day i hope you guys are ready for today <laughs>
Where else is there besides the two here? The two on top? Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Welcome back. Well, that's much nicer. So, yesterday my tractor was giving me a few fits going into gear. So, we went ahead and just trans changed the oil real quick before we got started this morning. Last 
season. This one's going to run all this season. And then we may do the same thing and be like on a two year trade plan. Um, in addition to that, we also did buy um, a big square baler this spring. We traded off our round baler. It will either go either way. But one of the main reasons we traded off was because of the quality and quantity that we have. We put out really good hay. Like, we have very nice hay. And we just can't compete with this big rounds the way we need to. And uh, to do that, we needed to get a big square baler. Let's see if, I don't know if he's ready for me to turn this on or if we're going to wait a little bit. I kind of got a rocket roll. So I'm going to wait 15 minutes and then I'm going to start rolling up, squaring up, whatever we're doing today. Let's see where my mind is. I'm open to running too. Because we got lots of work to do. Watch 
for now. Jason's over square bailing straw. I gotta go get little green and more fuel and get semis more fuel and then go get whatever I need. To well, I guess we'll go from baling hay to baling straw all in the matter of a few hours. Except where we're big square in it. Get inside my baler. That's true. My hands get inside my baler, thank like you. Well, it's a good thing he didn't go very far. I had a knot or I don't know what it's doing. Well, this is my first time ever running this thing. It's definitely way different than my baler. There's a lot more to pay attention. Um, so, like, this is like what in my tractor, there's a stroke counter. And the top counter. <laughs> nice. Okay, so 20 out of 30 flakes per bale, and then this is how it's loaded on each side, and uh, this is where we're at, and this is how many bales we've got. Breaks it down, and then he's got a nice, cute little rear view camera too. There's a lot of hay straw sitting out here.
we're finally catching up. It's gonna be a long night, but that's okay, because it's supposed to rain the next four or five nights, so we'll catch up, hopefully, on some sleep. But this is the part of farming that I don't think a lot of people realize or see. It's, it is long hours and long nights and short sleeping times and when um, it's full on. You know, harvest for us is different than harvest for row crop farmers. Um, row crop guys work really hard to get the fields planted and then they kind of sit and just kind of stew over them and watch them and pray that they grow and pray for rain and pray for sunlight and yada 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 and then come fall they harvest well our harvest works a little different because we are hay farmers so our hay starts typically in april and runs till october this year has been a little bit funky with the weather pattern that we had
go home.